Alright everybody, hello and good evening. Am I coming through okay? Alright, welcome to Control. I've never heard, I haven't heard that much of this game. Uh, I know very little about it. Um, apparently this won a number of awards. That it just kind of flew under the radar for me. This is actually made by the same devs of um, Max Payne, Alan Wake, and Quantum Break. This is by uh, Remedy Games. So this is going to be interesting. Let's make sure everything's good first. 
Uh, sensitivity ought to work on the fly, as always. Uh, also, this is the PS5 version. I, I originally had it installed on the PS4 version, which I got free a couple months ago. But um, the uh, the PS Plus, uh, I think when I have extra, I think that's the one I subscribe to, has the PS5 version of the Ultimate Edition. So I went ahead and installed that one instead. So that's what we're on right now. So, uh, no aim assist, because I hate it. Assisted mode, disabled, okay. Yeah, I don't need aim assist. What do you take me for? Right, controls. Levitate. Okay, so it looks like I can build a map all of these. <laughs> Excuse me. Shoot, aim, melee, it's triangle, use a square, shield, it's L1, launch is R1, evade, okay, simple enough. Ground slam? That's gonna be interesting. Uh, audio. Headphones. Mute copyrighted music. Apparently there's copyrighted music. We're going to keep it on there just for the sake of experience. If it mutes it, that's unfortunate, but... Uh, let's see, brightness... What are we looking at here? It's supposed to be a middle icon? Okay. So, left icon is not visible, middle is barely visible, and right is clearly... We're going to keep it on the middle, because I think it's probably just barely showing on your guys' end. We're just going to keep it there. Uh, we'll keep it on performance, because I prefer things to be at 60 FPS, even though it's not going to show up on the, on the stream. Interface, subtitles, definitely. Crosshairs, ammo. Okay, we're good. All right, let's get to it. I, I gotta make sure everything's good. I press back and not. Okay. So new game. Okay, it does all the same. Start new game. Headphones. No difficulty setting, so it's. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. You don't say. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. Shawshank Redemption? The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world 
is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Supposedly this takes a lot of inspiration from the X-Files. Hmm. We're about to find out, but uh, we're inter introduced to our main character here. This is uh, Jesse Faden, played by uh, Courtney Hope. Um, anybody who's ever played uh, Quantum Break will re uh, recognize her. Uh, currently, she's in the soap opera Buzz. I forgot which one. I think it might have been... Um... God, that name escapes me now. But yeah, she's currently in a soap opera. But uh, her face and voice... Uh, it's all, it's all her. And apparently, um, I, I looked at the cast. The actors who played Max Payne and Alan Wake are also in this game. Outerwear, empty pockets. Max Payne's actor is one of the heads of Remedy. Oh, really? Explains a lot. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessary necessitated an issue reminder on prohibited materials, unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart, number two pencils. Why'd you let John Wick in here? Any objects containing iconic representations of an archetypal concept. Example, rubber ducks and ketchup bottles. All matter under bureau investigation is to be brought in through private the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. Case files, research and record records, assets, loadout. Hello? Anybody here? Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown in effect. How the hell did I get in here? Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Head of research override. HRA protocol activated. Okay, so the doors open automatically. I don't have to worry about that. Can I just say this game looks amazing, even for performance over graphics? Seal? 
that we just saw as we walked in. I need to hold it down. Expenditure summary, staffing, surveillance, redacted, data center initiative, construction, redacted, redacted, minor, office equipment, janitorial costs, redacted, mood, mold removal, HQ livability costs. For cost breakdown spreadsheet, see page 5 for 5 year compar comparison sheet. Oh, see page 5 for 5 year comparison. 5 year, I'm going to speak, see page 9. Compiled by Accounting Department, Order of Director Zachariah Trench. Oh, there's. Do they still use these? Are these still a thing? I feel like probably not anymore. Hey, Ryuzaki! Long time no see, man. Played this twice and never completed. The main project is mildly attractive. Seek shelter. Okay. Head of research, Dr. Casper Darling. Our bureau at work. The janitor? Sometimes they do. Uh, director Zachariah Trench. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Also, it should be noted, this is the um, Ultimate Edition I mentioned before. Uh, there are DLC to this. We'll see how much I like this game before we consider going through uh, going through those. I don't know when they're supposed to take place in uh, relevance to this, to the events of this game. Also, there's no door. It's all just windows. How do I get in? Oops. Pistachios, potato chips, pretzels, crackers, protein fibers, protein fiber. Where in the world is my fab titties? You're killing me here. At least give me some coffee. This is like very dated stuff. It's like 80s. Let's look at 80s tech. Security order. Good lord. A shark and his redacted. Although secure, redacted. Permission to redacted. Following basic protocol, redacted. Shoot to kill. Are you kidding me? Is this thing all windows? Is there no way into this conference room? Hello. As you should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request an R4.E from your supervisor. 
If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get a writ written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual, uh, annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. I have a feeling that most alphabet agencies of the U.S. are keeping old tech more secure, same with the new uh, new tubes. That's true. That's very true. Old tech. It's not hackable. Very analog. And I'm all for it. Hello? A lot of analog tech. Very tedious in trying to keep records and all that. Not much for convenience. But if you want to... Want to keep things safe. Take it old school. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Ati, janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ati, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, Peter, you're really work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Did you just read my inner monologue? I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. This guy reading my inner monologue. Let's see deeper into the bureau. What the fuck? This building is changing around me. <laughs> Should I make a what the fuck counter? <laughs> the cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Are you asking me? Might need it for this game. Do you know what the... the do you know about this game? Courtney Hope. Okay, this is not going to show the other uh, cast members.
Oh, you have. Okay. What am I getting myself into? Also, that title card. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother. Is Dan. she speaking to us as the player? 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. It feels like she is. She's like addressing us. That's not a good sound. Look at the art. Please appreciate the art. Everything is still on lockdown. I didn't do that. God damn it. I'm gonna be using it for this game now. Alright, this one won't open. Clearance level one. Oh man, I'm gonna need to like really pay attention to this game, aren't I? Shit's gonna be changing around me. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Jesse Faden arrives at the oldest house, headquarters of the Federal Bureau of Control, to look for answers to the mysteries of her childhood. The hell was that? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? What? Really? I ain't suggesting shit. I'm looking at the map. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, what the hell is this map? Oh, we can, uh. Nice. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Midnight on the dot. Uh, <laughs> at least put on some gloves. I'm sorry, what? Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Okay, I might have to actually make a counter. <laughs> actually, uh, hang on. Let's do it right now. Command. Where did the 
TF. Everyone. Should I make it for everyone for, or for the mods? This is going to work like the um, the nutshot counter for LWE. I should probably make it for mods. Seconds message. Uh, how do I do this again? So how many times did I try, uh, say it? Was that twice? Uh, one of the mods try it. It's um, exclamation point uh, WTF. So it's yeah, it's gonna work like the nutshot counter for LWE events. Uh, one person can only type it at a time, and then there's a cooldown. Uh, I think I put um, this one has a five second cooldown on it. All right, let's give this a try. Concepts, tattoos, and see what works. Whoa, what the? Good lord, the bass on that. That made my ears almost pop. Oh yes, the trigger. I like this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go. This is gonna take some time. Can I fix ADS on this? Uh, 
let's bring it down to 40. There we go. Automatically when not in use, okay. So my spastic reload finger is going to be... I don't have to worry about anything. This is our health. And now they have guns. Oh, oh, I wish it was the uh, the log of her. spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy I'm happy to be here things have quieted down outside is it safe to go center mass okay I'll try it's a force of habit I always try and shoot for the head something behind this wall. Can we zoom in on this? Uh... No. Nope. I'm just going to stand here. Oh, that's actually her. Like, the actress. Guard? Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Hiss guards make use of standard bu uh, standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption. While these armored guards carry pump action shotguns, while the armored ones, okay. They have no observed paranormal uh, 
supernatural abilities, with the exception that has certain hiss guards, are, with the exception that certain hiss guards are protected by a shielding of dense hiss resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged hiss corruption? Does the hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Does the hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat. These are all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to file redacted for report for full report. Service weapon. Form is variable. When bound, the object allows periutilitarians to redact it. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of redacted. My guess is the director. The object will determine whether redacted. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the redacted by the board. Through their though their criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. Popular hypothesis redacted many forms throughout history. Redacted, Mjolnir, Excalibur, Brunastra, all weapons that redacted of their wielders. If objects of power are in the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 for more for more details. Wait, what did I say? Terminology? Okay. While pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words of phrase to use in service of his or her country, regret, proud, pride, will be remembered. Words of phrases to avoid, Alaska, scissors, blood or bleed, loss, apologies, or sorry. Lolly lay -lo low. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Oh, this is what we saw earlier. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well. But thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Oh yeah, this this uh this is gonna fuck with me.
You just launched something at me? Crapiola. behind a glass wouldn't of course I'm gonna get shot okay let's try that again actually pay attention I still can't open this We not take cover. Is there voices I'm hearing? Unidentified reading. Do not have the clearance level. Oh, I can't even read that? I thought it was appointed director. What's this nonsense? Nope, not that one. Reminder. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One. Ah, oh, it's not gonna let me play along. Okay. Reminder: If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three. Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you. Reminder, if you experience oh. an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, Did that play just... Oh, right, whatever. Items or objects of power. What? Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions.
clearance level. We checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything. Just like the house fire before this, and a malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort of sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch, the next one on the list. Let's hope that's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Dinner res reservations at 7 p.m. at Chez Lambre. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at the lobby. Reception. Rem remember, she's turning 46. <laughs> Wife's birthday? With the pistol. Okay, this whole thing is just narrating my, my my story. Guided into the building by the janitor Adi, Jesse finds Zach Rat Trench dead. Picks up the pistol next to the body is translocated to the astral plane. The strange board encouragers are to bind to the gun. Object of power called the service weapon. She now succeeds. She succeeds, and the board informs her that she is now the director. your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burns in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. I do it to drown out the voices that I'm hearing in my head. I'm not going crazy! Compiled by Paula Bronte and Lorenzo Dunn, researchers. Emily Pope, research specialist. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. That's what he was alcohol for. <laughs> Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain redacted, informed by our own redacted, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can be even be artificially redacted in popular culture using redacted. Our bureau-made anthology television program. Bureau-made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore, AWEs that only occur on redacted, a pair of scissors c that can consume redacted through two punctures into redacted. These details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Refer to file four, uh, four ninety three six nine four two for full report. This is getting get, yeah SCP vibes. Huh? 
how to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency, transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. I did not leave then ask him these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York or just visiting? How did you find this place? If their answers aren't sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a, serf, a secure federal office and that they need to leave. If their answers seem redacted, escort them to a private room. There, perform the Gunnar psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the pro, uh, provided scoring sheet, then redacted immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Hell is this a pyramid ship? This is the darkness. Do I jump it? Ranger second class Pulaski. They have names. I'll read that later. Okay, he's got armor. was. Looks like it stopped. Probably a hiccup. Might have to refresh. Don't need to pick up all those other things again. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. Nope. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. There's a bad spot to be in. Can I read that without? Okay. Ah! What the frick? Where the hell did he come from? sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating I'm looking at my KBS to see if it uh, fluctuates any Any bit.
Ah, oh, god dang it. Now let's try this one more time. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows me like a pyramid and it makes you come over and over. Where is he? Shit! There we go. the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Did what? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Are you with us? With uh. the Bureau? Are you still sane? Can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Holy ah. shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Wait, how do they how do they know that I'm the new director? Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. It, Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, uh, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service went. Also, and this can sound crazy. He keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, 
I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. I do too. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Is she, like, really talking to us as the player? Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Do I look like I have a choice, Jesse? Let's take a look what's in here first. Oh, sorry, Shadow. Uh, okay. Just, just. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmoniza or harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the redacted arrangement, the shifting area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by redacted. Detection of an unobstructed ping using the redacted within a 37-foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or redacted or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be redacted. Refer to the file 725-2788 for report. Interesting texture. Oh, wait, what? Her floating body I'm not seeing? Um, ripping it out rips them apart. I, 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 I think she dead. What's this? Oh, okay. Fast travel outfits. I guess this is like our, our like meditation points. Civilian. Okay. I don't even know if I uh, installed or downloaded the extra stuff. Worth a shot. I Finish scrambled her brains. Yes. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an 
incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, the few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. He's probably dead. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Do I? Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Phone's ringing. Looks like I got an answer. I love the carpet. Sorry to interrupt. The comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Wait, do I have another one of those? Oh, I just have two of them. Director Trench. Thanks, Emily. The hotline should be in the communications department. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. 
What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy, I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. The gun is speaking to me. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Half of that just kind of Got flew it. over my head. Thanks. So HRA stop you from becoming Hicks. It seems that way. I, mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. And each one seems to emit a powerful short range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Hmm. Like he might have seen this coming, but he didn't have enough time. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. A lot of them. Where am I going? To the boardroom? No, the boardroom's there. Sounds like the house is a mystery you heard in John Con Constance Connick's booth. I don't trust anyone with a surname Darling. Typically anything but. <laughs> Level three. I don't have an ink clearance level. That takes me. Whoa. That's a holding cell. That's a no-go. Alright, so you needed me to go back through the lobby. Yes. Sector elevator. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's gonna uh, it's gonna give me this kind of like glow marking here. Cafeteria, nostalgia department, communications department, dead letters. What the hell is this all? There it 
this again. A welcome message. Week 83 report. Visiting the following Nevada accommodations Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, In and Out, Aztec Court, Sleepy Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, Elgato Blanco Inn, and A Plus Lounge. A Lodge. Expenditures. Accommodation. Eight hundred thirty-one dollars twenty-one cents. Meals seven hundred fourteen. Gas two hundred ninety-five. Mini bar three hundred thirteen. I do wonder if a motel is called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Riley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent Hines. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. Up, oh, I hear you. Where are you? Oh, okay. It's, it's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. Hope you on that. Yeah. Let's let's stay out of there for now. Quite the mini park since yeah. This resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. His barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Destroy the his entities in the area. Excuse me. Resonance fields seem to report their uh, require support for their size and density from uh, other non-connected sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of his residence qualify as a conscious being? 
Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file redacted for full report. So wait, is that thing lowered? department. Please be aware, due to the recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's area stability has been downgraded to yellow. Green is stable. Yellow is low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange is high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts. Red is frequent unanticipated building shifts. Kills boost. Oh, here we go. Damage boost, recoil exclusive to shatter. Whatever that is. Put this on though. Interesting. I can make use of that. And where's the coffee? Havana. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Redacted deaths were reported and outgoing information has been managed. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy in the same day as the event was reported though federal, through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is, reported, which is reported to have been redacted. Staff experienced several intense vibrations, noise, accompanied by intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for redacted minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned, uh, cordoned off. And, and the embassy staff were transported to the uh, continental U.S. After Formula I point, well, 1.9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. See case file A185 for details. References to the Cuba Syndrome and stuff. the hell? Okay, that not going in there. Still can't go in there. I can't reach what was over there. Alright, so so communications department. Let me go over here. Dead letters. are doing your job. I had a 
dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fan plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how, how on his own. This is just a beginner's baby, a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me on the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. I cannot see a damn thing. An identified reading. Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they never came. They never come to my house. I got a problem, and you gotta send folk to fix it. I got one of my wife, one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. It says a lot of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of because of the fish. And you gotta come handle it. My wife is real upset. Can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. Or is it D. Wayne? A lot of stuff I can't use yet because I don't have the clearance level. Whoa! Wrong button. Big mouth, Billy Bass. <laughs> you got a singing fish that does that, I'm gonna kill it with fire. Navigate to the communications department. Cleanse control points to gain access to fast travel throughout the oldest house. Still hear the damn voices though. Letter approval. Trench Bartwell. 
Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows to authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters come to us from various places and times gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones might, uh, even the erroneous ones allow us insight on how the unknown is perceived by the real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. Smash everything! You didn't follow your reports. Hello, avid readers. The Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the caf uh, cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get the reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading, Penny Bartwell. Let me destroy this thing before it kills me! Seven days. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that! I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. You're Ernest, James Bartholomew. Yeah, no thank you, I'm not watching that again. Ah, <sighs> like Sesame Street is 
not exactly the word I would use. I mean, these things obviously exist for a reason. The only question is what? Alright, I gotta continue to the navigate to the communications department. Okay, not not one of these. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping eighty kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. This is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. <coughs> I mean, it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. That probably explains why I don't want number two pencils around going through the, uh, going to security. Communications are on the right track. Okay, we can't pick our outfit. Coffee, cigarettes, and still no fab titties. Come on now. Is this? That's a steel door. So is this. Internet usage rules. Internet is not for social media use. No FBC materials of any kind may be scanned or uploaded. Email addresses are for work-related correspondence only. Level 5 clearance required to access internet. If a cub cubicle's black rock shell gets damaged, vacate it immediately and alert Dr. Tomasi. Or Mr. Tomasi. If you notice any text in your work that you do not recall writing, vacate your cubicle immediately and alert Dr. Mr. Tomasi. Do not connect internal comm devices to the network. Printer is for communications department use only. Altered items are forbidden in the cubicles. Notify security of any breaches immediately. They may require internal lockdown. Okay, that's, this is starting to explain all the things that were on that list of security. Just to keep everything in. Hey, dude, you see that? Do you hear that? Are you missing any teeth? What threw that at you? Doesn't like me.
Club Notes for Penny by L. Sampson. So I usually don't read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was alright. The title, Unless You, could refer to a bunch of things in, this, in the book, I guess. But I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around, almost like the catchphrase, like a catchphrase got really annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixtures, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and gun space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors who would go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade a city planet and convert the entire population using brain worms, and that space dog fight between those two ace pilots, sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruin what kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed, not even halfway through the story, by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. World leaders versus sound. <laughs> Energy recovery speed. Hmm. What happens if I lock myself in here? Nope, I still hear the voices. I like the Talos tech, but not the fact that the fish got me. <laughs> At the floppy disk. Oh, shit, it's shooting out the wall or the uh, the cover. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. 
I'm no one's director. Got no strings on me. Oh, I am liking this. It's a little bit more simplified than using force abilities, but I'm all for it! Yeet! <laughs> like we're able to pick up a lot of stuff I'm like curious to like what exactly can we grab and throw also that high pitch whistling is very unsettling like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Something's in my eye. Okay, yep, I think I'm good. Oh, wow! I was not expecting that to explode when I threw it. I mean, yeah, I saw the tank. What? Oh, okay. That's interesting. Are you receiving me? Have a seat. <laughs> Splash damage has no loyalty. <laughs> Oh, 
Mail for you. Definitely need that one. Anything to help with my accuracy, because I'm not exactly real cyber just yet. Bureau only allows certain highly trained individuals to handle volatile materials and weaponry. Our demolition experts are instructed in the use of explosives and dimensions with distinct physical laws, making them important assets for engineering work as well as combat situations. His de demolition experts are only observed, are the only observed his variations. Wield a specifically built rocket propelled grenade that is designed to identify and track redacted entities once fired, making them a threat to who, uh, making them a threat whose termination should be prioritized in combat scenarios. I find it remarkable that the his restrict usage of this weapon to the bureau personnel who train specifically for its use. What does this tell us about its behavior? Can I not pass along new information to corrupted enemies? Still too many unknowns. The Rangers are Bureau's well-trained, well-armed exped expeditionary forces. Their hiss corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. Prior to corruption, Rangers are trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during AWE response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. Hiss Rangers utilize these weapons as well in the advanced tactics taught by the by Bureau instructors. Instructors, sorry. Some additionally outfitted with Bureau-made body armor, Hiss Rangers have, observed, have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Considering that advanced training, ha the considering the advanced training that Hiss Rangers are capable of applying to their situation, is it feasible to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree, or is the Hiss able to tap into this combat training and utilize it? Further observation is required. floppy disk must be contained in a cell with no other loose material object is an 8 inch diskette containing Soviet era nuclear launch codes when bound the object allows para utilitarians to kinetically lift material and throw it a short distance the object is currently bound to redacted for research purposes stolen from a Soviet military base located and redacted by agents redacted and redacted with the CIA the diskette, diskette contained launch codes to redacted missiles, believed to be reserved for the use against redacted. After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the de decoding team. An informant in the CIA tipped the Bureau off, and there was requisitioned by agents the next day. Jeez, how much can I throw around? There's a cool down there. Okay. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. efficiency. Yes, please. Some of these voices are just reminding me of the um, voice that comes over the radio and um, PT. I don't know how I should feel about that.
this place is a fucking maze. There's a key nearby. Like here? This must open the door. Oh. Oh, that's going to be really handy. I don't like that it's dark in here. I need a flashlight. Same here. Nope. Not doing it. Yes, it was. What the hell? They can fly now. Great. He's dodging. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. Pretty sure I dropped one. You're the ones that wanted me to have a counter, and you guys aren't even doing it. Have a seat. I need to get him when he's busy. There we go. No! Take this upstairs. Ow, shit. not low enough.
health is going to be my big issue here. I need to time it just right. Get me? I have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. Yes, Malcolm. Uh, uh, hey, Malcolm. Yes, tea time is at 7. I'll see you in the course Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about the Tennyson report? Apparently, there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trench is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have heard anything about it, would you? See you Sunday. His elevated agents display, display abilities similar to telekinetic... Comp uh, competencies observed in bureau peri peri utilitarians some prefer to charge their object their targets while others launch objects at them telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against his elevated due to their own talent in the area they do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities some his elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs this is likely the result of indi individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? It is possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption. It's also worth considering that the Hiss residents can identify and express latent paranatural ability while the individuals are, in the individual individuals it corrupts. Okay, so shoot it. Although I think I got uh, 
hit at the right time with uh, with thrown objects. Montana. The spate disappearances were traced to a home in the city of Butte, where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrive at the home of a local celebrity located at Redacted, which had been connected to a total of Redacted disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled a light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house, redacted days later, found in a sealed room by the rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte's home closet disappeared during this incident. Alright, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds of all of them having to show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Man, are you still recording this? <laughs> Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. Got him. Yep. The hotline can't be far now. According to their testimony, the agents have been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a virtual C file MOT. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which, on which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the uh, home's owner and the other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switches have been like the, uh, the identical to the like of uh, bleh, excuse me, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of wiring, redacted light cords have been found in the oldest house located in redacted and redacted sectors. All these access the Ocean View Motel, though it exa how exactly this link operates is redacted, but initial hypothesis center on the Buttes AWE as redacted. Hold on, it mentioned uh, Ocean View Motel in the Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, dead letters? No, not dead letters. Where? Travel costs. Nevada. Not my uh, Montana. Hmm. Uh, 
hotline security log. Trench, trench, Bill Everett, custodian, trench, custodian, Carol Bishop, custodian. It's like, what happened to Bill? One for for the father. No, I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. I'm counting. <laughs> Did. Okay, so it's just the room that's on this side. Can I go to the casino? I don't have a gambling problem. I don't know which, I'm just going to walk away. Okay, it's just the ones on those sides. the bridge going to the uh, to the room third time's a charm Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh shit. Oh no. Mr. Wizard, get me the hell out of here. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. You're talking about me or your brother? Well now. Uh, to all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many aspects. If our budget demands we are not uh, demands are not exorbitant exor uh, exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet 
that they that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't even there. The nature of the oldest house allows us to allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. And yes, I did notice the, the nosebleed. Objects should be inaccessible for use except for the director. Objects is the 1960s era red bake light telephone rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. Phone ways redacted. The object allows the director to communicate with the redacted, possibly the board. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal redacted. Huh. Object is currently bound to director trench. Is spontaneously manifest the spontaneously manifested in the director's office placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests were run on the object, including redacted and redacted, but its origin remains unknown. Ring ring, it's Dr. Garland calling. In 1978. A comms department intern heard the hotline ring and picked it up, going against every safety protocol in the manual. She never recovered, and the handful of witnesses required extensive memory repression therapy. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Our very own Ouija board. Only the director can answer it safely, and what he hears is kept classified. Fucking hate Ouija boards. Oh, shit. It's a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my duty as the director, like Northmore before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. No one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the firebricks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling's right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Has he been compromised? I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams, constantly ringing, ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Find it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now. I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion.
director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. They have proven themselves. Darling. That's what Tomasi, we saw earlier. Salvador. Marshall. Marshall especially. My head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. So I followed my own orders. Northmore hated my guts for that. But things change when you become director. You suddenly see this dark void for the horror show it truly is. Filled with screaming fear we pretend to control. Sand leaks through my fingers. The roses I pruned in the garden back when I still had a family. All dead. Heat escapes my body. My thoughts are scattered. The universe keeps expanding and I can't keep up with it alone. When I forget that, things go wrong. And my team has to pick up the pieces. Damage control. To help me get out of my mess. That man is burning through a lot of cigarettes. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country. Back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The ocean view operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel. The key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit, just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in. Insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. Something's coming. The whispers growing louder. Worst winter storm in Bureau history. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy. Destroy me. A web spun, turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of the attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I need answers. ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control.
needs you. Also, his body is gone. Alright, let's try and make it back to Emily, and we'll call it a night. Wait, I can build a... Actually, oh, uh, well... Getting some, like, Metroidvania level of uh, backtracking with all these clearance levels. Because I know I ran into a couple clearance level 1 uh, doors. So I'll have to go back and look for those. Where's Emily? Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? I got the hotline. I could make out what Church is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. It... it you agree, that is. L we could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Here, we got more questions for you. Hi, Jesse. Nope. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know.
initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past few weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact was the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the hiss. This couldn't indicate that she's already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other hiss that I have dismissed theory. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of the hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology it comes relying on the hiss. More work need uh, more work to be done. Is it a Wes Anderson uh, font? I, I tried looking it up because I wanted to try and get uh, as much of the font as I could, but uh, that one specifically for the um, the title cards is actually pretty expensive. and power we will provide and jest oh this just keeps getting weirder and weirder completed missions okay Internal lockdown emergency security measure is stopping Jesse from looking oh, looking for Trench's missing management team and other sectors. Jesse sets out to uh, enter the maintenance sector to find out the uh, directional override and left the internal lockdown. Jesse is attacked by the Hiss hostile from the voices of corruption. Oh, anyway. Requires a rescues a handful of uncorrupted agents, including Emily Pope, who briefs her on the situation. Hiss has invaded the Bureau and its staff, taking control of anyone who isn't wearing an HRA, a Hedron res Resonance Amplifier, a device capable of protecting against the corruption. Another uh, energy mod. Alright. Oh, hello. This one says four oh six. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. I know that voice. That's the janitor. A lot of these questions could be answered by obtaining a live specimen. Here? Well, we don't have the proper facilities. Maybe we can get an observation room from the containment sector. I'll put in a request with Pope. Oh. Yes. Additional weapon slot. Construct Shatter has a high stopping power with a scatter shot that devastates grouped enemy. Oh, shotgun! Yes! Insufficient materials.
Kill enemies with a service weapon in shatter mode. Kill enemies with, in the executive sector. Okay, so these are just like challenges. Charge mode. This thing has a charge mode. Headshots. Hiss guards. Using spin. Alright, these ones I could be able to do. And we still have our civilian outfit. Recoil or spread. Okay. So that uh, I'm assuming it saves every time we use one of these uh, these points. Okay, yeah, there's the icon. Okay, we're good. So yeah, we'll stop here for the night. We'll pick this up again next Monday. I'm not streaming on Friday. So, ooh, mission select. Interesting. So yeah, we're off to a great start. I am... Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this game. Even though it's gonna make my head hurt trying to understand what the hell is going on. But uh, yeah, we'll just play it more. We'll hopefully understand it more. Oh, that's not it. Uh, but yeah, thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, that'll be it for this week because I'm not streaming uh, on Friday again. Uh, I'll probably just have something going on th via the Discord. But um, we'll come back on next Monday for more Star Wars Jedi Survivor uh, that'll continue on to the following Tuesday and then next Wednesday and Friday will be more control so that'll be it for, that'll be the plan uh, for this new uh, schedule so I'd like to thank you all for joining me uh, what we how many did we hit with our WTF uh, counter six times should I keep that going or should I reset it every uh, every game or every, uh, every session I mean I mean it'll reset when I tell it to otherwise it's just gonna keep counting cumulatively I have to do that every time we do uh, LWE. So it'll stay at six until the next session. Okay. So we'll keep. We'll let it. Uh, we'll let it keep count. But um, yeah, thank you all for joining, and you guys have a great weekend. Uh, we got the links here. First link will take you to the Lazy League Discord. There you can be able to find the rest of us, such as Ohem IK, the Batgwin, Gumdok the Grey, and many others in our circle, such as Warwick, uh, Simon Ada, 98 Tough Love, Rainarchy, uh, Shadow Knight, C Plus Content, Juices TV, many others. Come hang out with us, come, come be lazy with us. A lot of fun stuff that goes on there. Uh, gaming news, Penguin news, shit posting, D&D, &D, watch parties, and couple other things that I probably might have missed but oh, it's, it's a long list um, the second link will take you to the sister site for this channel there you can be able to find more info on other upcoming streams that I have planned uh, along with uh, my archive of all the past streams that I've done and if you got any questions comments or concerns that you would like me to know about or any suggestions that you might have for me for future let's plays or retro nights head on over to the contact page and shoot them out to me over there. Alternatively, you can also scroll down below uh, to the Twitter, where you can also reach me from there. Uh, there are also some other links to help support the channel, as well as uh, streamers who aren't connected or affiliated with the Lazy League that I personally like to watch and follow. Check them all out whenever you can. They're all great. And again, thank you for joining me tonight for our first session of Control. 
I'm hooked. I hope you guys are. We'll see how long. Hmm. How long is this game? I know uh, you haven't finished it yet, but uh, and that's not counting the DLC. Like, how long is the uh, the the main the main story? Or you have no idea? it up um, trying to think of other things uh, now we hit everything else yeah we'll, we'll come back to this on Wednesday on that you guys have a great weekend and uh, if you guys are on the discord you can probably hang out with me on Friday I uh, still don't know what I'm doing because I think the tally is still tied It's still tied. <laughs> so I don't know, probably um, less than 20 hours non completionist. Well, I'm doing my searching around, so I'm probably going to probably gonna be around that. So, anyways, um, so it'll take us a, a hot minute. Um, probably will end up doing just like GTA. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, who's around. Uh, if not, I'll just do a watch party of Top Gun. So, Anyways, uh, I'll catch you guys stream-wise on Monday. Till then, take care. Love and hype. Life is interesting. Life is very weird. Hope it hasn't made you lose touch with reality. But hopefully, we can still maintain control. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>